As rates of vaccinations against the coronavirus increase in the U.S., there is some good news to report today. As medical reporter Liz Bonus explains, those severe allergic rea uh, reactions to the Pfizer vaccine are extremely rare. If you are worried about getting anaphylactic shock, that severe reaction to the vaccine that can be life-threatening, this new report by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says it is extremely rare. So rare that the CDC reports that based on data from people who got the first of two recommended doses of either vaccine, only about one in every 90,000 people on average will experience this adverse reaction. National Geographic reports that's less than 3% of the lifetime risk of dying from choking on food. While the CDC numbers do show the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine right now does have a higher rate of the severe reaction than the flu vaccine, it's still very small. With nearly 2 million already getting the vaccine last month, 99.99% did not experience this anaphylactic reaction, according to the CDC study. But even with that... So everybody who gets the vaccine, we're going to watch very closely for at least 15 minutes and longer if they have a history of having allergic reactions in the past. The CDC also updating its guidance today about those reactions. It says, check the CDC website if you've ever had a history of reacting to any ingredient on the list of the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine, you should not get one of these vaccines. You also should not get the second dose if you did have any allergic reaction or the severe reaction to the first injection. Now those guidelines, of course, will continue to be updated as more people get the vaccine and we learn more about it. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. We'll throw it back to you. Thanks, Liz. And you can find a link to the CDC to find that ingredient list that Liz mentioned at whatshappeninginhealth.com.